Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now in this video I'm just going to be talking about recent events that have happened to some very famous musicians and th these are these are good things so nothing to worry about but the, the first thing I want to talk about is Rod Stewart. Now he recently received a knighthood from uh, Prince William the Duke of Cambridge and frankly I think Rod Stewart definitely deserves a knighthood because he has to be w one of the most, or in my opinion anyway, one of the most influential musicians of the 70s and 80s just because he was he was coming up with some fantastic stuff that had real energy to it and I, I'm a big Rod Stewart fan actually so I was absolutely delighted to hear that he'd gotten that and if, I've seen some pictures from the event and it looks so so proud to receive the knighthood and you know so we should be and you know hip, hip him and his family look really good and I'm, I'm pleased he's doing as well as he is and it's about time that he got that level of recognition i think but anyway the next thing i wanted to discuss was bob dylan now bob dylan needless to say if rod stewart was in was influential then bob dylan you know he, he was the king of influence how many 60s bands and artists have covered Bob Dylan songs or have cited Bob Dylan as what as one of their major influences? You know, it's absolutely countless number of bands that look up to like look up to him. Even the Beatles, you know, they they do um, some Bob Dylan stuff. But anyway, Bob Dylan, wow, what a musician he is! I could I could spend ages going on about this music, but I'm not going to. But anyway, the thing I just want to discuss about Bob Dylan is that, very interestingly, he recently won the Nobel Peace Prize for Literature, which is interesting. He is the first musician to, to win the Peace Prize for Literature. And it's not really surprising, to be honest, because he is such a good writer, both in song lyrics and poetry that he did as well. So, I mean, he, he's published, I believe, a collection of his works called Tarantula. And I've, I've seen a couple of poems from that before, and they are really good. But it's it's hardly surprising because I think out of the 1960s, he had to be one of the very, very best songwriters. And even today, he's he's still going at it. He's still performing every now and again. So he's, he's definitely deserving of that Peace Prize. But the fact that he is the first musician to win it, it's a real testament to the quality of his work and how good he is and was. Uh, and the next thing I wanted to discuss was Phil Collins. Now Phil Collins, I think he's retired a couple of times from touring, but he's he's recently coming back for a tour known as, I believe, Not Dead Yet, which is the same title as his autobiography, which is getting released about now, I think. I'm, I'm not sure if it's come out yet or not. But I know it's coming out very shortly, if it hasn't already. And uh, I think that's rather funny. But uh, on a slightly more serious note, Phil Collins, I was reading that he's been having uh, quite a few illnesses. Or I say illnesses, more like just age-related ailments, really. Like, I know his his fingers are apparently not what they used to be, which is really impeding his ability to play the drums. However, I think, I think his son is going to do some of the drumming for him on these... Tours. I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm sure I read that on the website somewhere. But Phil Collins did say that he really wants to do the song in the air tonight. I'm assuming that's because it's one of his favourites. But he says he says that uh, he really wants to do that song. And I've got to admit, the drumming on that song, you know, it goes down in history for me as being one of the best pieces of drumming on the track ever. It got some fantastic, fantastic drumming on that. But that, I suppose that's Phil Collins' signature instrument, really, and. He is one of my favourite drummers. And the last thing I wanted to mention was that the Amazing 60s group, I don't know how well you can see this little flyer here, Man For Man are doing a, a, another tour this year and I'm actually going to see these guys next Wednesday at Sunderland and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because Man For Man are one of my favourite 60s groups. And out of the original uh, lineup of five members. It's got three, three out of five of them, so that's excellent. It's got Paul Jones, who is the lead singer, Mike Hug, and Tom McGuinness. Now, also, it has Mike Darbo. 
Now, he was the second lead singer of Man from 1966 until 1969, after Paul Jones decided to leave the band to pursue a solo career. And he's also in the tour as well, so you get both the lead singers, and you get the drummer, and I can't quite remember what instrument Tom McGuinness plays. I think it, I think it could be the bass or something. But anyway, that, that's fantastic to get to see those people 50 years after they were releasing their original material. So it's fantastic that they're still going at it. And also you get Rob Townsend and Marcus Cliff and Simon Curie, who are filling in for like the, the other band members. So I'm sure they'll be on like keyboards and guitars and stuff like that. And in addition to Manfred Mann, also is someone somebody called P.P. P. Arnold and she I think I read she was some type of jazz singer or something like that possibly soul singer I'm not sure but she's going to be on the on the tour as well and so is Zoot Money now I I have absolutely no idea what Zoot Money or sorry who Zoot Money really is I've heard that he's a 60s singer but I've, I've never heard anything by him so that'll be interesting but anyway you probably won't be able to see very well on the back, but they are doing a lot of tour dates. At a, at a rough estimate, I would say they're probably doing about 25 to 30 tour dates on the back of here in all parts of the country. So I think it's fantastic that certain 60s groups are still getting out there and performing the material. So that is fantastic. All right, so that's the end of this video, really. Just an impromptu talk on recent affairs. But, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.